In a recent video, I discussed why I choose Blazor over React in 2025, and I detailed my reasons for this choice. However, that doesn't mean that I choose Blazor in every single scenario. I choose Blazor whenever possible for the reasons that I detailed in the video, but there are times when Blazor is simply not the best choice for a particular project. In many cases, React will be the better choice. In this video, I break down when to use React instead of Blazor for a particular project. It's often a very tough choice. I love Blazor. I love React. You're tearing me apart! But I would say you definitely need to choose one or the other. I don't recommend at this stage, even though it is possible, trying to, for example, run a React component within a Blazor application. You can do it, but it's a pain in the Hey, what's up? Gavin, React is such a great front-end technology. Why not just always choose React? Well, because there really often are advantages to using Blazor rather than, for example, using React on the front-end and ASP.NET Core on the back-end. I mean, aside from the obvious ones, like, for example, you can use C Sharp and .NET throughout your application, both on the back-end and the front-end. A less obvious reason would be implementing authentication and authorization functionality using the OAuth2 protocol. You won't need to mix JavaScript on the front end with C Sharp and .NET on the back end, which means using C Sharp and .NET for the front end and back end, your security functionality will be easier to implement and maintain. So you'll have a more cohesive security setup. However, React does have libraries available that make OAuth2 integration fairly straightforward. So the overarching point is you have to always weigh up the pros and cons when planning a new project. There are always going to be trade-offs. There are a lot of nuances to consider and choosing the right technologies for your project can literally pay you dividends in the future. Interesting. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm not going to provide an overview of Blazor and React this time because I've done this so often in other videos. Please see my video entitled Why I Choose Blazor Over React in 2025 for an overview of Blazor and React. The link to this video has been included below in the description of this video. So let's get down to the business of why you might choose React over Blazor. But before we do that, if you like this video so far, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Do you think you should just use React on the front end in every scenario, or are there cases where you would choose Blazor? Please let me know your reasons for your choice. All comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. So I'm going to make a very good case for using React, playing devil's advocate, because you know I do favor Blazor in many cases. I don't want to anger those who are pro Blazor. Believe me, I am a huge Blazor fan, but let's look at it from the React perspective this time. Please feel free to push back in the comments section. Choosing React over Blazor depends on various factors, including performance, ecosystem, and development flexibility. Here are some key reasons why you might prefer React over Blazor. More job opportunities and industry adoption. React is widely adopted in the industry used by companies like Facebook, Airbnb, Netflix, and Uber. Many job listings require React, making it easier to find developers and jobs. Blazor, while gaining popularity, is still not nearly as widely used in production at the same scale. Larger ecosystem and community support. React has been around since 2013 and has a massive community, meaning more third-party libraries, tools, and support. Stack Overflow, GitHub, and NPM provide extensive solutions and packages, making it easier to solve problems. Blazor is growing, but still has a much smaller ecosystem compared to React. Performance and rendering speed. React uses a virtual DOM, which optimizes rendering performance. Blazor WebAssembly, WASM, 
has an initial load time heavier than React because it needs to download the .NET runtime and dependencies. Some would say that React apps typically feel snappier, especially for small to medium sized applications. There have been complaints about Blazor Server where there is latency issues with the persistent signal R connection. Richer UI component libraries. This for me is a big reason to choose React. React has extensive UI component libraries like Material UI, Ant Design, Chakra UI, and Tailwind UI. While Blazor has UI libraries like Mudblazor and Radzen, they are fewer in number and less mature. Cross-platform and mobile development. React has React Native, enabling cross-platform mobile development, iOS and Android. Blazor is primarily for web development, with limited mobile support via .NET MAUI, which is still evolving. If mobile apps are your priority, arguably React is a better choice. Better integration with JavaScript ecosystem. React works seamlessly with JavaScript-based tools like Webpack, Vite, ESLint, Babel, and NPM. Blazor relies on Interop for JavaScript usage, adding complexity when working with JS-based tools. Faster development and deployment. React applications can be deployed using Vercel, Netlify, Firebase, or traditional cloud platforms. Blazor apps, especially Blazor Server, depend on ASP.NET Core hosting, which may require more setup and backend resources. Lower learning curve for web developers. React uses JavaScript, TypeScript, with which most web developers are already familiar. Blazor requires knowledge of C-sharp, Razor syntax, and .NET, which may be a barrier for JavaScript developers. More mature state management solutions. React has robust state management solutions like Redux, Zustand, Recoil, and Context API. Blazor state management is improving, but lacks a standardized ecosystem like React. SEO and server-side rendering, SSR. React supports SSR with Next.js, which significantly improves SEO and page load speeds. Blazor WebAssembly relies on pre-rendering, but does not have as strong SSR support as React. Note, however, that since the release of .NET 8 in 2023, SSR is now possible with Blazor. In fact, with Blazor, you can now mix your render modes within one project, so you can use SSR and stream rendering, Blazor Server, and Blazor WebAssembly within one application. Let's look at applications better suited for React than Blazor. React excels in performance, ecosystem, and flexibility, making it the better choice for certain types of applications. Here are some examples of applications where React outperforms Blazor. SEO, critical websites, blogs, marketing, e-commerce, news, etc. Why React? Next.js, SSR, SSG, ISR ensures content is search engine friendly. Faster initial page load compared to Blazor WebAssembly. Better support for dynamic meta tags, for example, Open Graph, Twitter cards. Examples of applications are blogs, online magazines, landing pages, marketing websites, corporate sites, e-commerce stores, Shopify alternatives, headless commerce, product catalogs, News and media websites, New York Times style portals. Why Blazor isn't ideal? Blazor WebAssembly has poor SEO because it's a single page app, SPA, and content is loaded dynamically. Blazor server requires a persistent signal R connection, adding latency. Mobile apps, iOS and Android, why React? React Native allows for cross-platform mobile development, a shared code base between web and mobile a massive ecosystem for mobile-focused UI components. Examples, social media apps, X, Facebook-like apps, messaging, chat applications, fitness tracking, to-do lists, productivity apps, financial apps, budgeting, stock trading, etc. Why Blazor isn't ideal? Blazor Hybrid via .NET MAUI is still experimental. No native performance like React Native. Performance-sensitive web apps, dashboards, analytics, data-heavy apps. Why React? Virtual DOM ensures optimized rendering, state management, Zustand, Redux, TanStack query enables efficient data updates. React is faster than Blazor for complex UI updates. Examples, real-time dashboards, financial analytics, server monitoring. 
admin panels and CRM systems, enterprise back office solutions. Interactive data visualizations, graphs, charts, reports. Why Blazor isn't ideal for this? Blazor re-renders entire components, leading to performance issues. Blazor server apps can experience latency due to signal R. Streaming and real-time collaboration apps, why React? Web sockets and React query enable smooth real-time updates. Better support for third-party APIs, Firebase, Pusher, Socket, IO. Examples, live chat and messaging apps, WhatsApp, Slack clones. Collaborative tools, Google Docs-like apps, Trello clones. Live dashboards, sports scores, stock tickers. Why Blazor isn't ideal? Blazor server requires Signal R, which adds latency and connection overhead. WebAssembly doesn't support direct WebSocket connections efficiently. Consumer-facing web apps, social media, marketplaces, SaaS, etc. Why React? Lightweight, optimized for fast user interactions. Large library ecosystems for authentication, payments, and API integrations. Works well with Firebase, Stripe, and OAuth authentication providers. Examples, social media networking platforms, LinkedIn-like apps, online marketplaces, Etsy, Airbnb-like apps, SaaS products, Notion, Figma-like apps. Why Blazor isn't ideal, slower performance and highly interactive applications, fewer third-party integrations for payments, social login, etc. Single page applications, SPARs, with complex UI. Why React? Fast UI rendering via virtual DOM. Fine-grained control over state and performance. Supports client-side routing efficiently, React Router. Examples. E-learning platforms, Udemy-like apps, file sharing apps, Google Drive-like apps, interactive dashboards. Why Blazor isn't ideal? Blazor WebAssembly has a high initial load time. Blazor server relies on a persistent connection. 3D and graphics intensive applications, WebGL, VR, 3D games, etc. Why React? 3.js and React 3 Fiber for WebGL based graphics. Better support for game engines and 3D modeling tools. Examples 3D modeling tools, AutoCAD like web apps. Online game development, VR and AR applications. Why Blazor isn't ideal? No built-in WebGL support needs JavaScript interop for 3.js and other 3D libraries. Electron-based desktop applications. Why React? Electron plus React enables cross-platform desktop apps. Used by VS Code, Slack, Discord, and Figma. Examples. Desktop-based chat applications, IDEs, and code editors. Video conferencing tools. Why Blazor isn't ideal for this? Blazor can run in Electron, but it lacks native-like support. Conclusion, should you use React or Blazor? Use React if your app requires fast performance and lightweight UI, SEO, and SSR support. Mobile app development, third-party library support, for example, Stripe, Firebase, WebSockets. Advanced animations, 3D graphics, real-time updates. Use Blazor if you have a full .NET ecosystem. You want to reuse C Sharp on the front end and the back end. Use Blazor where you're building internal business apps or enterprise software. If you're working on a high performance, consumer facing, mobile friendly or SEO optimized app, React is the better choice. React developers are significantly more in demand than Blazor developers. Let's talk about salaries. React developers earn more on average due to higher demand. Blazor developers earn slightly less and have fewer freelance opportunities. However, this is much more nuanced than it sounds. If you are a senior developer who has a well-rounded knowledge of .NET and high levels of expertise, you'll be in huge demand in certain locations around the world and will be able to command a high salary. So we are only talking in generalities here. These are not hard and fast rules. Okay, so that about does it. Please see my other Blazorverse React video where I make a strong case for Blazor. The link to the relevant video has been included in the description of this video. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
and please don't forget to ring the bell. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Which of these technologies do you prefer and why? Of course, I welcome the Blazor community to push back in the comments section. All comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.